Hi there, my name's Mark, and today we're going to be discussing uh, the pitfalls of mould in the bathroom in respect to the um, silicone and the grouting, which is a common fault. You'll find like black mould on the grout and black mould on the silicone. So what tools are required? Um, we're going to go into another room and I'll show you what we need in order to maintain this bathroom. Welcome back. Now we're going to show you the um, tools that are required in order to um, rake out the grout, which is a tool here, which is called a grout rake. But I'll show you, obviously I'll show you how this works once we go back into the bathroom. Then we have our grout float, which we use to spread the grout on with. Then obviously we have our grout here, which you can pick up from most DIY shops or hardware shops. They come in different sizes, depending on how much grouting you intend to do. And they've got different names, but they all do the same thing. Right, here we are back into the bathroom. And this stage now is we're gonna show you how to rake out the grout and re-grout. So basically, with your grout rake, all you need to do is press onto the, the grout joint with one finger holding the top of the grout rake and just rub it up and down. You don't have to go right to the wall, just as long as you've taken off the mouldy grout that's on there. You don't have to rub hard because on the grout rake, it's got like a, almost like a serrated edge which takes off the grout. Right, so we've got to a stage where we've taken the grout back to where it's nice and white and then the mould is gone. And then I'll show you how to mix the grout up and apply the grout to the joint. Right. So now we're going to pour a bit of grout into a bucket, preferably a dry clean bucket. Then we get our sponge, which we'll use to wipe down the grout once we've grouted it. So you only need a little bit of water mixed into the powder. So imagine you're mixing flour. So you don't want it too doughy, but you don't want it too wet. If you need to add more water, add more water. I tend to use a sponge because it's easier to control the amount of water that goes into the grout. Basically, this is the grout mixed. So we need to tap it with your finger. It's not too hard and it's not too soft. Right, and this is when you apply the grout to the area which you've raked out to get rid of the, the mold. Then basically, you just wipe the grout into the joint, to the grout joint. And then you should smooth it off so you get no residue grout around the joint area. You can leave that for a couple of minutes to let that set in. So get your sponge and give it a good wring out so there's hardly any water left in, in, on the sponge. And then basically just take your sponge and just wipe over the area. I always find once you've wiped it on one side, then spin the sponge over so you've got a nice clean side but still moist and then wipe again. And what that'll do, that'll take off any residue around the tile and any, any high spots on the grout joint. And then basically just take it back to your clean water and just rinse it out. And then if you've got a bigger area to do, then you just take your grout float again and just continue grouting into the joints until all the joints are filled up and there's no black mold left. Right, so this is the, the grout joint being filled in with the grout. And this, this is the, the finish that you're looking for when you're getting rid of the black mold. So there's no black mold left in that area. And, this, and that's the finished product of the grout. Mm -hmm. 